Hello everybody, welcome back, I am Shade of Dead, and this is FTL Captain's Edition. I've actually installed a couple of mods on FTL. I asked you guys what you wanted me to do. A lot of people said FTL, I just decided, you know, FTL is something I haven't played in a while. I kind of miss it. I kind of want to do the, uh, let's see if we can turn the music down. It's just a little, I love the music, but I just want it down just a little bit. So I don't have to feel like I have to shout quite as much. Um, Captain's Edition is a whole new mod. It changes a lot of things um, in this game uh, in FTL. And I kind of want to do this. But I noticed something when I started. All my, all my ships are disabled. I don't have any of the other ships. So we'll actually be starting with just the basic ship um, here that we've got. And we're going to get right into it. Um, a lot of things have changed. You'll see some different story and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, I like Captain's Edition. There's another one that I like. Um, it's not quite as exciting, but it is the... Uh, space station mod and I may do that one also but we'll see the data carry is vital to the remaining federation fleet you'll need supplies for the journey so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up we, well, most of you probably know what FDL is and how it works uh, we are a lone ship we have a uh, some information that is vital to the success of uh, our fleet the rebels are in hot pursuit behind us and they are kind of tearing up the galaxy uh they're winning mostly and we have to get there with our information so that our side has a chance um prepare the ship for ftl jump what do we want to do produce something consider some upgrades or socialize we'll just we'll just chat with them we'll just chat with the humans uh yeah, I was on holiday in the sector once. I've been here once before. Sometimes things happen when you do this. Sometimes things don't. Um, that's just the nature of the beast. Uh, sometimes you get things out of it. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes they're like, hey, go here. I know of a place. And you can go there or depending on what species it is, they'll give you different things. So on and so forth. We're in danger. Oh, we're in a, uh, a place. Uh, yeah, we're in a nebula. And I've installed better uh, backgrounds and planets. So this is going to look a little different than what maybe you're used to. Uh, we're going to actually stay inside of here for a little bit. Uh, let's see. How are we going to get... Uh... All right. So we'd have to break off here if we want this side. And we probably will. I'm going to do something like this. We want to hit as many of these as we can at the moment. Nope. A uh, Manus expedition vessel returning home with its hull. So determined are they, in fact, that they don't wait to see if you're hostile before firing. All right, well, I'm not going to offer surrender. But um, you want to try to hit as many of these as you can. That's going to allow you to, uh, well, it's going to make life a lot easier for you. All right, so we're going to continue. We're going to pause. I want this guy, we're going to use control to auto-fire on that. We're going to send the peritons... Uh, this is a new missile. It shoots two. This is something new in, uh, I believe, in Captain's Edition. It shoots two missiles, um, and it does a pretty good job. We're gonna, just going to fire it once. We want to knock their shields out, and then we're going to. We also want to hit their lasers. There, we took one of their guns offline. Oh, they swapped them. There comes the missiles. Boom, boom. There go their shields. Fire lasers. And both. Both weapons are offline. We got these guys. I keep wanting to scroll. I don't know why. I haven't played this in a long time. Uh, they haven't fixed the... Oh my gosh, we missed. Alright, we'll fire again. Your crew gets skills from doing things. Oh, this is bad. May have to fire another missile. I don't really want to. Ow, we've taken damage. Keep firing on that. One more shot. One more hit, we win. Oh, gosh. If the shields come back up, I'm tempted to fire the missiles. There, we got them. Boom. We want to try to hit 
as many locations in this sector as we can so we get more stuff the more stuff we get uh the better off we're going to end up being so we want to get as much scrap as we can we want to get as much everything as we can an advanced rebel automated ship main station near a small rebel space station however without functioning sensors it's impossible to tell what is inside uh we'll attack it we'll attack it um always attack always attack um missiles on that repeat fire on them on the weapons Ooh, that's a beam that looks painful like to take that down please probably honestly what i should be doing is this and then you firing on that for right now there we go take the weapons out now they're no threat to us we'll try to take the shields out next Oh, gosh, I can't hit nothing. What is your deal? You're just bad. Skill's going up. It only improves the charge rate. doesn't improve accuracy. Has this got, like, a bad accuracy on it or something? Or is he just dodging like a crazy man? He might be dodging like a crazy man. There we go. Shields are down. Let's take out his dodging capabilities. If we can take out his pilot cockpit, he can't dodge anything we do. Boom! There we go. Destroy that one. Let's go hit his sh weapons again. I knew he was going to get them repaired here soon. Boom! He's dead. Nice. And we just get some salvage. Uh, the station was abandoned and stripped clean. Seems to lay in unused for quite some time. Find nothing. Alright, well, that wasn't very good. But we're going to go here. We're still in the nebula. In the nebula, it slows down the rebels. And you'll see them. Uh, most of you have probably seen FTL before, but if you haven't... Oh, we got a pirate station. This is cool. Uh, th there's a mod that lets you play as a station. It's pretty nice. A pirate station drifts near the beacon and hails. Look who we have here. In the end, they always come to us. Our cargo scans indicate fine prizes aboard your ship, and you won't leave here in one piece. They lock weapons. Oh, and they're cloaking. Well, that's disconcerting. And we have intruders on board. All right, let's turn that down, that on. Um, you two, go deal with this. Yes. Alright. Missiles. Missiles, we want to missile their weapons. We want to repeat fire at their shields. My boys are in here beating them up, but we're also getting healed at the same time. Which makes our life easier. And we killed him. Alright, you two. Uh, return to your stations. All right, we've 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 hammered their weapons, but they're not completely destroyed. So we're going to shoot them one more time. Oh, they've come back on board. Um, run away. Run here. Yep. You actually go here. Then we can lock the doors, and we can make them pay. They're going to they're gonna start running out of oxygen pretty quick. Oh, they got in here. Dang it. Oh, that ain't good. That's not good. Let's go ahead and close these. I thought I was doing something good. That wasn't good. Alright, they're coming to the weapons. Let's go get them. Alright, we're going to have to fight head to head here. We'll probably have to run here in a minute. That's okay. We're going to run and heal. They're better at fighting than us. My guys don't have any experience in fighting. God dang. This is a rough one. They got a lot of people. Alright, let's go back. Let's beat them up. They might warp out. That would be bad. Keep my shields up. We're running low on oxygen. Uh, you go repair that one. Yeah, keep shooting that. We're slowly wearing them down. All right, guns are back online. Uh, go help them finish that real quick. All right. Uh, both of you return to your stations. Oh, get out of there. We gotta let the oxygen rebuild for a minute. All right, fire missiles at him. 
We're burning through missiles. Are they teleporting back on the ship? Yeah, they are. Two on one, but he's really hurt. All right, so we're going to do the... We've destroyed them, but... Um, we're going to we're gonna do the old flip-flop here. Spin around here, and now he's going to have to deal with it. Uh, if we can spend more time getting more debris, getting more stuff, I think we will. Um, that's going to make it easier for them to catch up to me. So they're, they're going to try to catch up to me pretty fast. Hopefully that didn't screw me up. All right, well, let's go heal. That was kind of rough. We haven't taken much damage. We're doing good. There's a lot of panic here on board the ship. I really like this game. Uh, this is, you know, kind of my idea of what Star Trek is. All right, we're going to open all the doors so that the uh, life support gets up to 100% faster. If you open the doors, life support gets up to 100% faster. So don't tap this twice because if you tap it twice, it also opens the ones to the outside. And you vent all the air in the ship. At which point, like... Oh, you do that. And you do something stupid like that. Because I'm an idiot. I did hit the wrong one. So you don't want to do that. Now we got to let it charge back up. Goody, goody gumdrops. Get our in engines up to higher. Alright, so shields. Every two, two points of power that you have in shields, you get one shield. Uh, you've seen it. Lasers hit it. That goes down. It recharges. Uh, engines. For every... Uh, uh, I can't remember exactly how much it is. But it's like for every one that you get. For every uh, thing you have in here. Your FTL charges faster. And you get a better like dodge percent. It's around 5% up to a point, And then it kind of slows down after that. Of course, the med bay. That's You saw me. I had them in there. They were healing. Oxygen. That's how we get... O2, that's how we have life support and we can breathe. And then our weapons. This one takes two power, this one takes two power, so there we go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of Oh, there is a store. Uh we better hit the store first. Here we go. Cool planet. Transmission from the nearby planet indicates an outpost below. Alright, upon a docking you discovered a trader who has access to a cargo teleporter. You will make a quick deal here. We could buy this fast. And then I can sell it somewhere else, typically for a profit. Um, I really wish you had the chance to, to look before you did this. But, uh... I don't really want to buy anything yet. I just want to see what they've got first. Alright, page two. Uh, lowers weapon cooldown by 10% and protects your weapon targeting from being scrambled. That's really, really nice. Improved internal AI. Internal drones have their movement speed increased by 100%. All your drones can remain active. That's not so great. I mean, this would be nice. I can't afford it. I don't really have anything to sell except I can make more fuel. Um, and I'm going to hold on to that. So if I go to a, a beacon that is empty, I can make more fuel that way. So that's pretty sweet honestly um, but should we fix up yeah let's fix up let's get the advanced targeting computer this makes it being able to shoot faster is always better never having your weapons scrambled is amazing um, I'm glad I didn't spend anything on anything else and we're gonna get fuel and we're gonna buy missiles and we're completely out of scrap that's awesome. <laughs> it's not awesome. All right, jump. All right, you can see the rebel fleet was coming. I'll show you better here next time. Raven right, system, you're hailed by a loyalist settlement. Upon learning of your quest, they offer you supplies. Just free stuff. That's great. Uh, but you can see, here's the rebel fleet. This is how far they've gotten. This is where they're going to be after my next jump. So as long as I stay ahead of them, everything should be fine. Should be, he says. Uh, we got to stay ahead of them. Stumble across Ford Scout. All uh, right. Well, we're going to have to fight them. They're powering up their FDL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Okay. So, how do we stop them from jumping? There's two ways. We can destroy their engine room, or we can destroy the cockpit. I usually go for the cockpit. Um, we're going to do that. 
We're going to dual laser those shields. Now he's got defense drones, so these missiles may not even get through. We're going to see how well this works out. Oh, they're shooting my lasers. This is bad. Okay. Not as bad as it could be. Not as bad as it could be. All right, so that's down. Let's see if we can take out their drones. And that would allow my lasers to get through. That would be nice. So their FTL is delayed. All right, now they're doing FTL again. All right, we exceeded the operational limits for our current system configuration. If we don't, a loud bang interrupts your crewmen. Uh, you push your ship a little too far. An energy spike is overloaded. A secondary power coupler. Fire alarm. All right, we've got a fire in the oxygen room. Bad news. Real bad news. Get in there and start putting it out. Um, <laughs> yeah, because the fire is eating up oxygen, and uh, we are we are in bad shape. Um, so one of them is down. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that, too. Fire. Oh, man. Fire missiles. We got to stop them from charging their... All right, we got one hit that they're delayed. He's fighting the fire. He's not doing great. Oh, there we go. Totally got it delayed now. You just keep shooting there. Periton. Fire on their engines. We can't let them escape. If we do, life's going to get real bad for us. So we just got to keep shooting. Come on, you can get it. All right, we still got a fire in here, but we got to get the oxygen back on. It might leak back through the door. There's a good chance it'll leak back through the door. There, we got him. We destroyed him. All right, let's go put this fire out. Everybody help. All right, ship breaks apart. You're relieved to know that you're still one step ahead of the fleet. If they get away, it increases the speed at which the enemy fleet can reach us. All right, you kind of need to go get healed because you're hurt. Um, let's go ahead and drop that. There we go. You were in there and all that smoke and all that fire. It hurt you. Let's put this stuff out. Everybody's going to need a little bit of healing by the time we get done. Let you two finish. Whew. All right. All right, everybody come here. Uh, let's heal up. Oh, gosh. That's pretty. These backgrounds are great. I, I The improved backgrounds uh, in planets are pretty awesome. Okay, so everybody return to their positions. And there we go. All right. And we can drop that back out, put it in here so we have more evasion. Um, you also have the ability to upgrade your ship, uh, which we may do. Um, this is something that's really good, door systems. Um, we're going to want that at some point. Uh, you can see your crew. You can get rid of them if you want. I wouldn't suggest it until you have too many. And Because uh, having a full complement of crew is amazing. Uh, that's what you kind of want to shoot for, honestly. It's one of the, one of the things you want to shoot for. Weapons, special weapons being another one. Advanced Rebel Automated Ship remains stationary as small... Rebel Space Station. Okay. All right. So it's storing vessel for military goods. Let's uh, let's destroy this automated ship to get to the storage camp. Red lights flickering in console. The enemy is rated threat level three. I don't know what that means, but okay. Fire on that. Um, should we save the missiles or should we use them? He seems dangerous. Let's let's try to blow his uh, steering out with the missiles. Let's see if we can knock some of the lasers down with ours. There, we got rid of one of their guns. All right, there we go. Perfect. We got you now, buddy. You ain't getting away, and you ain't going to defeat us. Maybe we find something good. All right, we, get, we just get some scrap from destroying the ship, and we got a new laser. An auto one, shots per charge one, normal damage one, possible effect fire. Nice. Um, nice. It charges really fast though, look at that. So I might switch it out for the Periton. Just to have that extra there. And this is where upgrading your ship comes important. See, I can only do four right now, but I could spend 50, get one more, and then I'd have to spend, was it, 75 more 
to get a second one, and then I could have all my weapons firing. That is something I want. Uh, I'm just not going to do it right now. We're going to save our missiles. We can always swap in the middle of a fight if we need to. Um, but this is this is going to be good for now, I believe. All right, let's go here. Ooh, nothing. Oh, a ship marked with pirate markings hails you. Hello, Captain. You've been causing the rebels quite a headache. The bounty in your head is crew is substantial. Hand one of your crewmen over and we'll share it. Yeah, we're not doing that. Um, power of my weapons. Prepare to fight. Uh, evasion pattern set, sir. Moving in with the lowest predictability. All right, so let's, let's get on them. Let's get on them. Let's take their shields out first. Now, they've got a, what's called a mega shield. That's why this is green. i got to deplete this before I can actually start hurting their ship. Even missiles bounce off of it. Um, although, they may do more damage. No, ion weapons do more damage. They just ioned my shields, which is not great. All right, here we go. Fire, boom. Fire, fire. There, shields are down. Okay, you start targeting that. You keep hammering that with the auto laser. Boom. Uh, you clearly bested us. We merely request our lives. Um, I don't need the fuel right now, which is something I just said and is going to probably come back to haunt me later, but uh, we're not going to accept any surrender. We're going to take you out, buddy. Boom. Jerks. Yeah, we still got three fuel, and I got more uh, scrap. Nice. See, they could have paid me more by scrapping their ship. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go here, then back, and then across to get to the exit. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's where we're going to go. Ooh, pretty. You jump into an unremarkable system, the life science detected within scanning range. Um, let's see if we can produce some fuel. Uh, recycler device removes fuel residue from spent fuel cells and fill refills some empty capsules with it. It's not much, but it will last a few jumps. Wait, it's not wanting on, as Grandma used to say. We got four fuel. That's actually pretty darn good, to be honest. Uh, let's hit this distress beacon. This could be somebody in trouble, or it could be a trap. A seemingly functional uh, Federation base lies completely dormant at this beacon. The crew must either be dead or evacuated. Ooh. Okay, we'll approach... As you close in, the station lights up bright. You get a flood of endlessly repeated messages from what you identify as Rebel CJI. Found you, found you, found you, found... Oh, boy. It's the Rebels. They're after us. All right, so let's take that down. You, uh... We'll wait here on that first shot until the other one can fire, too. Bam, bam. It's going to shoot here. There we go. We have already taken his shields out. I timed it together so that the shield, because if this fired, it would hit the shield. If it hits, it would hit the shield. The shield would power down, recharge, and then this guy would fire, hit the shield, and then hit hit the shield or their shield room once. That's not what we want. We want to try to hit them with two shots. So I waited till this one fired, then made this one fire. So they all fired together, and we got two hits on it. Took their shields down. That's great. Now their shields are still in the red. Bam, bam. They haven't teleported them board, which is good. Um, scary, but good. All right, we're gonna we're gonna win here. Boom, that's it. Had to blow it up. I had no choice. Now I could spend another sweep, but I'm not gonna this time. Uh, we're gonna get out of here because they're close. If I waited another one, they would have overtaken us and they would have caught us right here. Despite the barren area, a trader has set up shop at this beacon. He presents his offer. I can trade. Give him... S oh, I can get six fuel for two drones. That sounds good. I'll, I'll take the fuel. I'm not using drones right now, so... See, that would have been close. Well, they wouldn't have caught me, but it would have been real close. They would have been right on my heels, so... I probably wouldn't have made it to the exit without being attacked. Uh, by the rebels. And if they do overtake you, it's not the end of the world, but it may be the end of the world. Uh, you end up fighting some very powerful ships um, that will just beat the living tar out of you. Uh, and typically, the only thing you're trying to do is survive long enough to 
escape. Uh, you arrive to find a number of ships convening around a station. You tune in to their unencrypted communication channel and overhear half of their conversation. It seems that they need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. Uh, I can offer my services, but I don't think there's any way I can do it because I don't really have the weapons to do it. Nah, uh, you're not properly equipped. That's what I figured. So, uh, we'll move on. I don't have anything that will allow me to go in and kill just the crew. If I had, like, a fire weapon or something like that, then maybe. You arrive at a busy jump relay. A uh, guarded refugee caravan prepares to leave towards the Federation Core World. Survival of your cruiser is met with suspicion, even though you repeatedly state that you come in peace. Federation sympathizers contact you as you arrive. We know about your mission. We know your mission should be secret, so don't ask how we know about it. Take the schematic. It's all we can do to help. And so we would get we're getting nine scrap and a whole ripper drone Mark One, which I can't use yet because I don't have a drone um, system in my ship. But we're gonna get out of here. Next sector. Okay. Sector map. We gotta decide where we're gonna go. We got an uncharted sector and a warning uncharted sector. <laughs> These are hazardous. Um, sometimes the best thing to do is just to look down the line. What is the best route for us to take? Um, go here, I think, and then we can just go. To, we can decide which one of these we want to go to, and then down through here. So this is, who knows what this is? Uh, probably a nebula. It means we won't be able to see anything. Uh, the rebels will also be prepared to enter a nebula, so th they get slowed a little bit, but not nearly as much as they normally do. If you're like in a, just an open space and you go through the nebula, it slows them down a lot. So, I think we'll go to this one. The warning, Uncharted Sector. Boom. Yep, nebula. Uh, you escape the rebel fleet via the long-range relay. The ship accelerated towards the next sector, but additional fuel will be needed to reach top speed. So, I can go at nor normal speed. Don't use any extra fuel. Um, and we'll get there. No problem. Or I can go with standard engines. It uses two more fuel, and we get here faster. Um, this, they actually catch up to me sooner. This, I think it takes them a little longer. Uh... At the moment, we're gonna we're gonna do it. Uh, you doubt that the fleet will jump faster than standard speed and leave it at that. So there's no bonuses or anything like that. We're still sitting here. This is why I'm doing it is because I can do this again. All right, we got two more fuel. We got back what we spent. No problem. Um, all right, so the exit. Let's see what we got. Uh, I think we'll go left. I think we'll go up through all this. I think that makes sense. So. We're going to bounce back and forth up through here like this. Um, maybe maybe even go around if, if we have time. Do a little more than that. You never really have time to get all of it. Um, there is a mod that is like the never-ending mod or whatever. And you just keep going and going. And you fight bosses. You do fight uh, like big boss ships every so often. And... There's no rebels chasing you. You can you can explore an entire sector before you move on. So that's kind of cool. Uh, well, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. I think we make more fuel. We don't ever want to run out of fuel. I mean, just having that is great. And if we're not careful, we can run out of fuel. Oh, somebody's bad here. Navigating the fog blind, you practically bump holes with the mantis ship. They hail you. Pa, this transgression will be overlooked. Nebula, very dangerous. Next time, humans all die. Why wait? Yeah, why wait? We're, we're in good shape. Um, they're going to be in real bad shape. The ship's computer informs the crew. Threat level 2 hostile approaching. Armed engagement. Imminent. 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 All right. Um, so we're going to fire on the shields. Yeah, we'll do the shields first. Oh. They're on board. That's bad. They're in my bay. So let's turn on the healing. Let's get in there and fight. So he's healing, but uh, now we fired. I'm going to fire on here. There we go. All right, the shields are still up. That hurt. And we're going to kill their mantis. There we go. We've got that one. You need to fire. Get in there. All right. 
he bailed. He actually went back to his base. Um, or back to his ship. Shields are coming back up again. Let's let the firing begin. Bam. Bam. They must have an NG on board to repair that fast. That's right. We'll keep damaging the NG if we can. Boom. All right. So he just got better at shooting uh, weapons. So now everything takes a little bit less time than it even did before. Boom. Yeah. The violent streak of this group of mantis has been brought to an end in the form of an equally violent explosion throughout their ship. Suckas. We got more missiles. We got more scrap. Boy, we're doing good. Um, but I am going to end it here. We'll finish this sector here next episode. Um, one thing I typically do is I don't... Uh, I try not to upgrade my ship until I've gone through two sectors. Uh, you can typically pull that off uh, with a little bit of skill, a little bit of luck. Uh, you can get through two sectors without upgrading your ship or anything like that. I did buy that one thing at the store. Um, we may do that again if we get down through here and we find another store. I may buy something. But for the most part, I'm trying to save my scrap up to upgrade my ship and decide what it is I need at that time. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I don't know how long I'll do FTL. I, I'll probably do one or two two run-throughs, maybe. You know, at least one run-through. I might come back and show you guys the Space Station mod. I kind of enjoyed it. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Bye.